One of the hardest things during the holiday seasons is gifting. You can be unoriginal and give them cash or a gift card, or you can be original and get them like socks and tea. Well, that's not really that original either, but it's hard nevertheless. I'm gonna make it a little bit easier and suggest 10 fragrances that you can gift. They're perfect for gifting. They're good for any season really, and they won't break the bank. Here's some codes to save you some cash on your next Middle Eastern niche or designer fragrances. My name's Neeb, welcome back to Aromatics. I've got 10 fragrances here that are perfect for the gifting seasons. Really, they're perfect for any season. All of these fragrances are around 50 bucks. A lot of them are even less than that, and we're gonna talk about them. Biggest thing when making this list is thinking about certain fragrances that are really hard to dislike. So mass appeal and just the ease of liking. So these are cheap in price tag, but not in scent profile. Let's just go ahead and get started with one of the designers that I've had in my collection for a long time. It's a freshie. It's a no-brainer, super easy. I've rocked this to the gym. And it's a great gifting option. This is from Azaro, and it's Chrome Extreme. You can find this for anywhere. No more than like $40. I wouldn't pay more than $40 for this and lucky you, it's probably just around that price point. So it's something that if they like fresh, if they go to school, if they're a teenager and even up until like 25, 30, the reality of it is, is that this is a timeless and ageless fragrance. Very easy to like. It's in the same family as something like Aqua Di Gio Profundo and a lot of the designers that you're gonna find in the mall. A mall designer, mass appealing, blue freshy that smells great, easy to wear and a perfect gifting option. If you have a spouse or a kid that likes to go work out a lot or goes to school and just likes fresh scents, they're gonna like this one. Zaro Chrome Extreme has just enough power to last about six hours as well. So really not a bad option. It's one that I've been rocking for a long time. And you guys can see the dent there. It's pretty good. So bang for a buck, that's definitely here. Next one up is pretty much YSL YEDP. It smells pretty close to that. Obviously this is a cheaper version. When you go to Macy's and they like this fragrance right here, yeah, you're gonna really enjoy this one. It's pretty much this fragrance, half of the price. This is around 50, maybe $55 at the very most, but it definitely is one of the best versions of this fragrance. The longevity, AKA the performance and how long it lasts on this one is a solid eight hours. For this one, you'll get about 10 hours, but still for half of the price, they won't even know the difference. The bottle's a little bit weird, but it's pretty cute in my opinion, it's different. This is an all around excellent fragrance option to pick, just the whole scent profile. And we're talking about the DNA, not necessarily one or the other. It's another easy fragrance that has this profile of shower gel fresh out the shower and perfect for gym office school anytime any place so this one YSL YADP retails for around 130 maybe 150 dollars whereas this one you can find it for easily 50 dollars or maybe even less so a no-brainer option, and there are a couple of different options for this fragrance as well. We're not gonna go down that rabbit hole, but this is definitely one of the best. And there's only one other fragrance that does the similar profile or scent DNA for a relatively close price tag as well. This one, however, does have the edge because it sparkles a little bit more. So I would highly suggest going with our Muff Odyssey Mega Eau de Parfum. Compliment worthy, mass appealing, fresh, clean out of the shower. Just, it's a great fragrance, especially for gifting, no-brainer. Another fragrance that's perfect for the holiday season. And this is like under $25. It's Latafa's Hayati Al Malaki. It's the blue bottle. So this one is extremely close to Paco Rabanne's Phantom. That little robot bottle, yeah. This is very close. And that DNA I actually enjoy. I enjoy it uh, quite a bit actually. It's like got this lemony top. It's very fresh. It's bubble gummy as well, but earthy at the same time. So it's this sweet, aromatic, uh, sage and patchouli fragrance. It has a, some freshness at the top, very sweet. And honestly, it's gotten me quite a few compliments. And I'm talking about the original robot. So the robot is actually pretty cute as well. It is a great gifting option just for the bottle itself. And the scent profile, especially for uh, non-enthusiasts or even enthusiasts, it's really not that bad. So I prefer the silver one. It's a bit easier to enjoy than the black one, the Paco Rabanne's Phantom. So if you wanna get that scent profile, but you're on a budget, you can easily go with Hayati Leila Melaki and it smells pretty dang close. I'm not gonna say spot on, but it's good enough. It doesn't smell cheap whatsoever. It's this sweet, sweet, earthy, playful, flirty. And honestly, it's perfect for those that are like 14, maybe even 12. It's a nice, flirty, playful fragrance, very easy to like from 12 to like, let's say 30. I would say after 30, it's a little too playful. But even if you're past the 30 mark and you like more youthful fragrances, it's easy. It's sweet, it's patchouli, and it's a little bit of freshness at the top. And for under 25 bucks, 
it's great. Next on this list is a beast mode fragrance and beast mode just means a super long lasting fragrance. It is almost impossible for whoever you buy this for to dislike this. It is sweet though. It's sweet. It's fresh. It's super mass appealing. This one blew up all over the internet and for good reasons because it's it's just good, man. It is what it is. It's good. It's at the middle price range. Now, granted, designers, when you go and buy for your loved one, if you're not buying at discounters, is anywhere easily from $120 to $180, even upwards of $220, if we're talking designer realm. Let's not even talk about the niche ones, which is like, 250 and above. This one in specific is like a quarter of the price. It's $50 and for that reason, <laughs> it's $50 but it smells much more than that. And for that reason, it is a perfect gifting option. One of the best fragrances that you could gift this season is from Rasasi and it's called Hawass. So if you're looking for something that smells way above the price point, smells fantastic, long lasting, it's a no brainer. You wanna gift it, you wanna be on the safe side, this is absolutely gonna get you there. There is a newer flanker that costs a little bit more. I'll save that for another video, but this one, it'll get the job done. A great fragrance that has garnered me so many compliments. I wear this to the gym, school, office, this is a 10 out of 10 right here. Relatively new fragrance to my collection, but it's been so impressionable that it's easily made it to a lot of my top cheapies list. By no means do any of these smell cheap. I'm gonna disclaimer that one more time. But this one is under $35, and it's a fragrance that actually has a perfumer. If you don't know perfumers in the designer realm, that's all they work with is perfumers. But it costs a little bit more because they're paying for the expertise or the person to put their name behind it and the scent profile behind it as well. So you're almost given like this guarantee, if you will. With the cheapies, it's not gonna be so much perfumers or it's gonna be a lesser known perfumer, etc. A lot of them do have perfumers, however, just behind the scenes and they don't wanna put a name to it. This one, however, has a perfumer. It's under 35 bucks. It's easy, it's fresh, it's clean, smells like clean laundry, and it's a hands ocean rush. This is a great fragrance for everyday wear. I rocked the heck out of this one. I would easily gift this to everyone and anyone, but they do have another fragrance from this, this lineup that I also think is perfect for the gifting season, but I'll make a part two to this video where I'll include this one, or that one I should say. This one, however, it's a little bit less playful, more mature, so if you're trying to gift somebody who's maybe 22 and up, they don't want too much attention, they just wanna smell clean, fresh out of the shower, it smells a lot like a fragrance that's $150, Prada Loam. So Prada uh, at Macy's, that's what this you know smells like. Very similar and reminiscent to that. A great fragrance. I'm only putting the greatest of the great, especially when it comes to like mass appeal on this list. But with this one, I get a decent average uh, longevity and performance. So it's not gonna be something that's absolutely crazy, but if your spouse or loved one or whoever you're gifting isn't crazy about fragrances, but you know, you wanna get them into it, this is a perfect one, Rehan Ocean Rush. This is more than just a getting into fragrance for me. This is an everyday easy beater. This is a fragrance I would leave in the glove box, as many of these other ones as well. So Rehan Ocean Rush, a fantastic fragrance, pretty cool calligraphy on the back as well. Yeah, for 35 and under, great. Another great one. Another freshie because freshies are super easy and a lot of people just love freshies. This is after one of my favorite Invictuses. There are a lot of Invictus lines. When you go to Macy's, you're going to see a lot of these freaking bottles. And this is actually one of my favorite flankers. It's the Legend. I, it's a little bit harder to find. I'm not sure if it's discontinued or whatever. It doesn't matter because we're talking about the alternative. And it's Mason Alhambra's Victorioso Legend. This is like 22 bucks. 25. If you don't go and get this, these are perfect for like stocking stuffers. They're perfect for anybody, man. Super easy. About six hours of performance. You spray it on and you just go. It's got something aromatic at the same time. So it's more than just a freshie. Whereas the one I mentioned right before was like laundry, clean linens and stuff. This is more like fresh, slightly aquatic and sweet bubble gummies. And because of that reason, it's it's been such a hit. It's been such a hit. Everybody I've recommended this to and grabbed it, it's hard to disappoint. For 25 bucks, if you can get more than four out out of a fragrance, I'm thanking the stars, but well, thanking God, but you thank whoever you want to thank, but you should be thanking me for this list because all of these are fire. This though, <laughs> yeah, it's exactly that. So moral of the story is that you're going to get way more than four hours. You're going to get about six hours with this fragrance. I've honestly gotten more than that. The report I'm giving you guys is the general or the average amongst a lot of people's findings and reporting. So I don't want to give you guys my reporting if it's conflicting with a lot of other people's reporting. So when I think about my performance, you know, blended in with a lot of other people's performances, I 
personally get about eight hours on clothing uh, out of this fragrance, but a lot of people have been saying they get six hours, seven hours. So I'm gonna low ball here and shoot six hours. But for the price, even if it does give just six hours, that's good enough. And that's why I wanted to use the lowest reference to justify the purchase, which it does. Another freshie, this is Ambroxan, it's coffee. It's a little bit unusual, strange, but very nice. It's gotten me quite a few compliments, but I would recommend this for people who are like 22 and above, just because it's got that coffee nuance in there. And, and obviously coffee drinkers are gonna appreciate it a little bit more, but it's a unique freshie that I will always keep in my collection. This is one that I'll always recommend. It's a great one. It really, really is. And it's Womo Casual Life by Salvatore Ferragamo. Very different tiramisu coffee-like quality with an aquatic backdrop and some ambroxan. A great fragrance. I had one before this and I took it to work. I used to wear it to work and it was like half full. And one of my coworkers liked it and I had to give it to him. That's just the type of person I am. So this is my backup bottle. And since then, I haven't really been able to wear it because I test so many fragrances, but I freaking love this stuff. Amongst a lot of my fragrances with the cheapies and stuff, this has to be one of the top ones that I will always recommend. I will always recommend this one. Fresh, sweet. It's got this mature while still being modern and youthful a fantastic fragrance, compliment worthy, very different. And when you get them something like this, at least you have the badge of Salvatore Ferragamo. So if you're one that, you know, really is concerned with labels and stuff like that, although the other labels is great. Rosasi is a very known brand at this point in time. And so is Fragrance World and Latafa. But if you're more apt to designers, go with this. This is called Salvatore Ferragamo's Casual Life Womo. A great fragrance. I have to emphasize this a lot. And there are quite a few other flankers around this fragrance as well. Another one, which I enjoy just a little bit more, but it's sweeter and denser. This will be an easier uh, fragrance to gift. Holidays, Christmas time, Christmas trees, you think of ornaments. And that's why I think of this fragrance. It's called Afnan's Ornament. This is probably the best one to gift for Christmas, honestly. Not just the scent profile, just the, the bottle. If you can find a way or manage to like put a string under the cap, and luckily the cap is on there pretty good, and hang this up on your tree and like have like labels, you just hang it on your tree, these are beautiful. Honestly, the idea, oh shit, don't hang it on your tree. Don't hang it on your tree. <laughs> I don't know, figure something else out, okay? Put it in your stocking stuffers, that's what I would do. But anyways, this set profile, oh my God, cut. Stocking stuffer idea, this is perfect for stocking stuffers, man. You can just throw it in there and set it and forget it. Very cute, but also scent profile is amazing on this one. It's got like the Stronger With You 1 Million Elixir DNA. If you like sweet fragrances, sexy, alluring, that's exactly what this is. Slightly bubblegummy, and honestly, it doesn't have much of an age. It is a bit youthful. I think about 16 to like maybe 30. It's a good one. But even older than that, you can easily rock this one. Much less playful as something like the uh, Paco Rabanne's Phantom. A good fragrance, nevertheless, and especially at the right price. Yeah, it's a good one. Sweet, nutty, slightly gourmand, edible, sexy. If there's somebody that's in like the date range, this would be a great one to go with. We're down to the last two, so let's make these ones fire. This one is fire. If there's somebody in your life that's like 20 to even 50, this is honestly one of the best ones. Scent profile, okay? Because it's sexy, it's mysterious, it's it's just everything nice. The scent profile of this is extremely alluring, sexy, spicy, alluring, mysterious. It's after YSL, Yves Saint Laurent, La Nuit de Lome, and it's called Jack of Clubs by Fragrance World. This is after, I almost dropped it. This is pretty much a twist on the La Nuit de Lome Blue Electric. Electrique. Blue Electrique is just a flanker, aka a spin-off of uh, La Nuit de Lome, the original one. So this one is going to be more towards that blue. So what does the blue one do in comparison to the original La Nuit de Lome? It pretty much does the same exact thing, but it adds this blue vibe. What is this blue vibe that everybody's talking about? Just shower gel. And what this ends up doing is it A, makes it a little bit better performing. It, it really jumps off the skin a lot more and it adds more of a mass appeal. It's easier to wear. So you have the same scent profile, but it adds a cleanliness to it. There's like a backdrop of just clean. Surprisingly, it works. Clean but spicy, sexy, and mysterious, yes, it works. And this is one of the best interpretations, and for that reason, it's a must-have in most men's collection, in my opinion, when it comes to these Middle Eastern fragrances. Even the designers, La Nuit de Lome Blue Electrique, is one of the must-haves in every man's collection. But this is extremely close. The presentation is a little bit youthful, it comes with a deck of cards and stuff, but it's, it's pretty cute. Even as like a souvenir type of thing, it's pretty cute. Jack of Clubs by Fragrance World is no joke though. The scent profile, super sexy, long-lasting, and if you have someone in your life that like 
likes more sexy, bolder, more mature, mysterious fragrances, or if that's their persona, they carry themselves as somebody who really takes care of themselves. They like to dress up, they fix themselves. They're about that whole sexy, alluring vibe. This is exactly that. Jack of Clubs does not disappoint, and I'm almost certain will not disappoint you either, especially if you're in that category of fragrances, if you enjoy that category of fragrances. Sexy, mysterious, a little bit spicy, and alluring. Jack of Clubs by Fragrance World. Last on this list is easy and sweet and mass appealing. It's a no-brainer easily. This is from Atur al-Alam and it's relatively new. It's called The Myth. This is another one that has a pretty funky looking bottle, but it's pretty different. So this basically smells like Invictus, the original one. So this bottle again, except it's not the blue one, it's the one that started it all. This is by far the best cheap version of it. It smells the best in quality, it's the longest lasting, and everybody that I've had sniff it around me really enjoys this one. It's not something that's gonna be show stopping, but if you have somebody that's hard to please, this is pretty easy to please the hard to pleased with. Funky looking bottle, but the scent profile of this is extremely desirable. Designer. A super high quality fragrance that does not smell cheap whatsoever. None of these do. This is sweet, it's musky, and it's playful flirty. Anywhere from 16 to like 25 for this fragrance is what I would recommend. All of these fragrances, although cheap, do not smell cheap. I would personally never wear anything that smells cheap. I take care of myself, I eat healthy, I suggest you do the same, but also smell good. All of these, they will help you get there on a budget. The only fragrances I would recommend gifting or even ever recommend are fragrances that I actually wear. So there you have it, 10 fragrances that are perfect gifting options. Happy holidays, guys. Love can't be quantified by material. Love is in everyday actions because every day spent with your family Family should be holiday. That was pretty cheesy. Not every day is perfect, okay? But you try. You try to show them love every day. But this season, try and show them just a little bit more. Life is short. You're not guaranteed tomorrow. And for that reason, you should also hit that subscribe button. And until the next video, peace.